Okay, so here's a statistical test. Let's just have a little look at what type of test it might be. Uh, there's two groups, and there are weights of newborn babies. And there's two, it looks like it's two different groups, right? So group one and group two, group one and group two. And Mustafa is interested to see whether mean weights of newborns so the mean weights of newborns in these two groups are different. Are different, all right. So the we're not looking at whether one's heavier or lighter than the other. We're just looking for a difference, and we're testing at the ten percent level. All right. So let's go for it. Um, so part one, the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is always that there's no difference. All right. Now some of you are using this notation which is from the calculator and, and that's a good understanding of the calculator but unfortunately it's going to get you no marks because w what does this mu1 and mu2 actually mean right um, they represent the population means for the groups you're considering but an easy way is just to write it in words that the mean weight of babies in the two groups, we don't even need to name them, you know, the smoking mothers and the non-smoking mothers, um, are the same. It is as simple as that, right? There's no difference in the thing that we're measuring. And of course, the alternate hypothesis, we do a copy-paste, and we say the mean weight of babies in the two groups are different. This is a two-tailed two -tailed test, right? Two-tailed test. So I think it's better just to write it in words rather than the symbols, okay? Now, B, we're just going to go ahead and perform that test, right? So for part B, we've actually got to go ahead and get all the data into the calculator. Okay, so we go to our TI Inspire, we've opened a spreadsheet, and I've put all the data in cigarettes and, and non-cigarettes. Okay, so off we go to find our statistical test. Menu, let me make this bigger. There we go, menu, statistical, it's a test. Okay, and it is a two sample test, right? So we need two sample, and for us in the SL course, it's always a two sample T test. Okay, so click, and we have the original data, the raw data. Uh, list 1 and list 2. Before I say what list 1 and list 2 is, I'm going to go all the way down here and have a look at the alternate. Now the alternate, right, the one-way tests and the two-way tests, okay? So if it's a two-way test that the first and the second group are just not the same, then it actually doesn't matter which way around we put the groups here, as long as we've got two groups there. But one thing we must do is this pooled. This is a way they estimate the overall population variance standard deviation. And pooled we always have as yes. They put all the data together and they estimate the population variance. This is always a yes for our course. So make sure that's a yes. Click, boom, p-value 0 0.04340. Now don't be tempted to chop this off too soon. I'm gonna write that with a bit of accuracy, usually three sig fig, right? So what we should be writing down is the p-value equals 0 0.034. Look, there's one, two, three sig figs. That's the three sig figs. And you can see that we can state giving a reason whether Mustafa should accept the null hypothesis. Remember, if p is low, if p is low, the null must go, right? And of course, there's a little bit of extra. If P is lower than the significance level, in which case that's 10%, then the null must go. So we write down a comparison. Our P value is indeed below the significance less, uh, the significance um, value, uh, the level of the test, and so therefore we must reject the null. Now that's all we have to do as a mathematician, but interestingly, you know, what we're saying is that the weights of babies are in fact different. Now when we scroll down here, you can see that the mean weights 
uh, the cigarette babies is three kilos and the mean weight for the non-cigarette babies is 3.33 kilos. So it looks like there's maybe some evidence to suggest that smoking cigarettes does lead to um, you know, lighter babies. Um, but again, our hypothesis test was to look for a difference. And so we did a two-tailed test. If we wanted to find if there were significantly smaller babies for the smoking group, the cigarette group, we'd have to run that test again and do a one-tailed test and see what we got.